Okay, uh, this is the first time I've actually done underflower heating, so I'm no expert at all, but I'm going to show you what I do know, and then it will kind of demystify it for you guys if you've never done underfloor heating. Right, there are two types of underfloor heating. We have the underfloor heating that is filled with uh, water and is um, based off the gas. And here is the uh, thermometer. And what the guys have done is they've actually put the underfloor heating into different zones. So here we have the kitchen. Obviously, it's still <laughs> it's still ongoing. Um, and so this is zone one. And you can see, there you go, um, if I click on that. There you go, I've turned it off. There you go. So zone one, you'll be able to see, I don't know if you can see, and it's 19, oh, it's not great with the camera. Anyway, um, the temperature, the room temperature is actually 19.3 degrees, and we've set the underfloor heating for 18 and a half. So it's probably just gone off right now. The second, uh, and then, um, and then, do you see at the moment, well, you can't see it, but uh, if you feel it, it's actually lovely and warm, because these are not, this is not wood, these are actually tiles, and they're herring, dub, like double herringbone tiles. Um, and, and then the second zone here is the dining room, <laughs> complete with fridge, because obviously it's still ongoing. <laughs> um, so here, you can see we've got quite a lot of tiles. So this is zone two, and where's the thermometer? Do, 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 do. Puppy power? Ah, yeah, there you go. The thermometer's just behind that door frame there. So this is for the second room. Um, and I'm gonna show you what underfloor heating actually looks like if you've never seen it before, because I've never actually done it before. There you are. So what happens is the guys put down this kind of um, silver foil backed it's almost, here's it without the silver foil. Do you see them with white? Um, and it's got all the space. Oh, my camera skills are amazing. It's all got all the space like here. And then you actually put in the pipework and obviously it gives them different options for putting in the pipework. And then um, the actual underfloor heating is the silver backed and then they put in these pipes. And then these pipes here, and then they tape them down. You can just about see a little bit of taping going on here. And here we go. Here is a little bit more taping going on here. And the reason they have to tape them down, uh, and we had some interesting, interesting discussions, shall we say, <laughs> between the tiler, who's meticulous, and the plumbers, is that if they're not taped down to a certain level, then the tiler comes in and tiles, and the tiler has to tile using a specification and a correct adhesive in order to not null and void out the underfloor heating guarantee. So your, your plumbers who put in the underfloor heating need to communicate very carefully with the tiler and the tiler needs to comply in order to make sure your guarantee is intact. Um, and if the pipes, which actually happened in this case, so we had some interesting inter intercontinental discussions, um, the pipes were actually slightly higher so that the tiler was very unhappy about the level of the pipe. So between the pair of them, they got it sorted out. Now, how does that then look? I mean, it's like something like a spaceship, look. And then this is, this is, this is kind of the control syndrome, the control area here. So all of the underfloor heating comes here into different areas. So we've got different zones, do you see? One, two, three, four, five. They come up here, um, and then it goes into, if you like, um, a more normal boiler area there. Now, that's my technical description because I'm clearly not technical, but in this house, we've actually got five different zones now. We've got the top zone, which is the two, two floors of bedrooms, We've got the next zone, which is the kind of general, um, the kind of hallway and the two reception rooms. We've then got the downstairs, which is underfloor heating, which is zone one, which is the dining room, which you've seen, zone two, which is the kitchen, which you've seen, and zone three, come on here. You can just see, zone three is the bathroom. I wonder if you can see, uh, where's that? I've got fabulous uh, camera skills, please forgive me. Um, there you go, whee, bathroom. And it does look like, I just think it looks like a Dalek right now with those lights going on in the ceiling. But just to show you the underfloor heating here. There you go. Can you see again with the taping and then you see where the underfloor heating goes underneath the tiles just there. Um, and um, we have um, parts where we don't actually put the underfloor heating. So here we have it's like a wet room shower, so it's not a shower cubicle, but it drains away. And I'm just going to, beautiful camera work, obviously, going to show you where the underfloor heating stops. And that, so that is tile here 
and then into oh, the wet room. You can just about see, can you? There you go, the edge of where the water will drain away. So obviously we're not gonna put any underfloor heating um, where the actual tiles are gonna go. And here is where the toilet is gonna go. So can you see, the guys have just made up the level for the tilers with um, non-foil backed underfloor heating. And I don't know if you can see, but that that's where the underfloor heating finishes because this is the toilet area. So there's really no, no need to heat the bottom of a toilet unless you want to just sit there with your feet nice and warm, sit in the loo, quite happy. Right, so that is my non-technical description of underfloor heating. A couple of things to watch out for. There are two different types. Uh, you've got to make sure you understand what's happening with the guarantee. You've got to make sure that the, is a, there is a clear um, discussion between plumbers and tilers in order to not um, null and void the guarantee. Um, oh, I might show you around here. Uh, you've got to plan your room well in advance because they don't like to do underfloor heating around parts of the kitchen. So here we've got uh, almost a kitchen, but do you notice? No underfloor heating. And then behind here I've got kind of a crazy, crazy, ah, uh, there you go, camera skills. A, a rather, um, I don't know if it's a kitchen island, but anyway, it's um, right in the middle of the room at an angle and there's no underfloor heating underneath that either. So you do have to plan well in advance for things like kitchen, and oh, that's my washing machine, kitchen and, and um, bathroom so that you don't actually put underfloor heating un underneath it. So um, plan it, uh, guarantee it, two different types, make sure that the tilers do actually deliver to the level of um, spec is needed for the guarantee. Um, and it's lovely, honestly. I feel like a little cat. Um, you come down here, even though it's clearly <laughs> like <laughs> we're not quite ready yet. Um, and it's just gorgeous being in a in a room like this. So whether you'd put this in a rented accommodation is another matter, but certainly for a high-end spec, it's an absolute joy. Hope that's useful. See you guys soon.